Meghan Markle, I'm ready to make peace with my dumb sister. Well, it looks like we're just weeks away from the arrival of a new prince or princess. Yes, despite the fact that the royal family has managed to keep Meghan Markle's due date under wraps, all signs indicate that the Duchess of Sussex has entered final preparation mode. In fact, it looks as though Meghan is now on maternity leave, having cleared her schedule of all royal engagements for the foreseeable future. And apparently, Meghan's efforts to get ready for the big day go well beyond picking out a color scheme for the royal nursery. Insiders say Meg has been going to great lengths to bury the hatchet with some of the folks who have antagonized her during her first year as a royal. On Monday, Meghan made nice with Kate Middleton at a Commonwealth Day event. This, despite rumors that the duchesses have been locked in a bitter feud for the past several months. But Kate is small potatoes compared to Meghan's most determined antagonists. No, we are not talking about Piers Morgan, whose latest moronic hot take is that Meghan ruined Prince Harry by accepting his proposal and helping him become a better man. We're referring to Meghan's wicked half-sister, Samantha Markle, and her father, Thomas Markle, who's either just as bad as Samantha or another victim of manipulative machinations. Whatever the case, it seems Meghan is eager to make peace with her two douchiest relatives before the baby arrives. Meghan's family is well aware that she has always been busy and have always supported her efforts in the past, despite it leaving her little time to spend with them, a source close to the situation tells the Daily Mail. Her royal duties have kept her incredibly busy and she takes her new responsibilities very seriously. Yes, despite the fact that Meghan's family is objectively awful, and Samantha has made it her express goal to humiliate and destroy her sister, the Duchess has decided to be the bigger person and accept some of the blame for their beef it's that not a prime example of character befitting a royal, we don't know what is. The insider goes on to say that Meghan believes, or at least pretends to believe, that the media is partly to blame for Samantha and Thomas' actions, as the two of them crumbled under the pressure of global scrutiny. Meghan understands the pressures of intense media scrutiny and she is saddened by what her family have had to endure, the insider tells the mail. This justification doesn't really hold up when you consider the extent to which Thomas and Samantha have courted media attention, but hey, Meg's probably just saying what she needs to say to bring her family back together. She plans to extend an olive branch to the family and invite them to visit after the baby is born her sister opening brackets Samantha closing bracket included, the source says. Meghan hopes and prays that the baby will bring her family back together. Frankly, we're of the opinion that Samantha doesn't deserve a second chance, particularly as it seems she's been engaging in this sort of petty, malicious behavior her entire life. But hey! Maybe she'll see the light and finally change her ways. At the age of 54. That happens, right? Meghan Markle begins maternity leave. Royal baby coming soon. Well, folks, it looks like the big day is almost here. The royals have gone to considerable lengths to keep Meghan Markle's exact due date under wraps, but we now have reason to believe the little prince or princess is set to arrive very soon. According to the Daily Mail, Meghan has cleared all royal engagements from her schedule in preparation for giving birth. The Duchess of Sussex appeared at the Westminster Abbey Commonwealth Day service on Monday, where she reportedly made nice with Kate Middleton, and it seems that was to be her final public appearance for the foreseeable future. If she hasn't done so already, Meghan will soon retreat to the whimsically named Frogmore Cottage the home she and Harry have been sharing since their decision to depart Kensington Palace. There, she'll await the arrival of the newest royal. When the time comes she'll likely be transported to Frimley Park Hospital in Windsor, far from the prying eyes of the London Press Corps. Of course, that's just one theory as to where Meghan will welcome her bundle of joy. Others maintain she'll stick with family tradition and deliver in the Linda Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in London, where Kate Middleton welcomed all three of her children. The details are being kept under wraps for safety purposes, so we won't know the when and where of the delivery until after the fact. But hey, 
a little blind speculation never hurt anybody. It seems Meg's preparations for motherhood go well beyond painting a nursery and reading what to expect when you're expecting. Sources say Megan has buried the hatchet with Kate, possibly in the interest of clearing all bad blood before the arrival of her first child. It's an admirable form of nest feathering, and as a bonus, it will deny the British tabloid press their favorite narrative. They've been selling copies and raking in clicks by reporting on the Megan vs. Kate feud for the better part of a year now. The life of quiet domesticity that Megan seems to have planned likely won't be quite as attractive to the gossip hounds craving high royal drama. Looks like the Duchess of Sussex has not yet another victory without even trying. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.